all right now that we have installed firebug in firefox now let's open it up as you can see i have the firebug icon on the top right hand section it is currently deactivated i can either click on the bug icon right here or i can click f12 on my keyboard to bring it up and now we have firebug running and now we have few tabs here we have got console tab html tab css script dom net and cookies and we are going to go through each of the tabs here but predominantly we'll be spending more time on the html css and script so let's begin with the tab that we have the first tab being the console tab now when i open this tab we don't have any data uh, shown here because the page was loaded first and then we opened up the firebug now if i keep the firebug open and if i just simply refresh the page you should see some uh, data coming uh, flowing through the console tab here so let me go ahead and refresh the google page now it is showing heaps of data here primarily the information that you see in in the yellow color indicates that that is a warning and if i scroll down just don't get intimidated with all the details that it is showing here it's just warning that firebug is capturing if you want to really drill down and see if we have any errors or not you can click on the errors looks like there are no errors if you want to click on the warning as i mentioned anything that is displayed in a yellow indicates that that is a warning if it if there were any errors that would have uh, displayed in red and if you want to get rid of all the information that is shown here you want to start afresh you can just simply click on clear and it will clear everything out on the right hand side what we see is the command editor so this is nothing but a javascript editor you can even uh, enter your javascript commands on the fly and have the message displayed so for example if i were to type let's say a javascript message javascript uh, statement let's say um, this is a test close that and for me to run this i would need to click on the run button and it will display the alert message right here this is an editor that means i can have multiple i can have multiple lines of information here this is fire bug demo if i hit run it will display two alert messages because we are we are running the statement in an editor and you can do more here besides displaying a simple alert message you can even have your proper uh, javascript functions here even a statement so let's say if you were to type name john and if i were to say console.log and if i were to run this you can see the console log information showing here on the left hand side and if you don't want to use an editor you just want to use a command line you can just click on this and it will display the command line and here the good thing about using the command line is you get suggestions as you type for example if i were to let's say write an alert statement as i begin to type a as you can see it is giving me suggestion so i'm just gonna click on the tab button to complete that statement and this is from a command line i'm just gonna close that and for me to run this i just need to press the enter key on my keyboard and that will display the alert message now one thing to notice here is say these two statements are return john now alert did not return anything because this is just an alert statement now if i were to write something let's say and if i make a syntax error this is mistyped statement and here as you can see that i don't have the closing closing single quote and if i hit that it just says that there is there has been a syntax error in this statement now by looking at it you can tell that it is missing the 
single code here as i mentioned earlier that this is the error tab this is the warning tab and this is the information tab so if i really want to filter it by the error so i can just click on the error and it will just display the error information here and you can just simply clear this if you want to get rid of all that at a time but if you want to display errors both errors and warning just simply use the control key on your keyboard and click on the click on the warnings uh, button and errors button and the information button it will just display all that for you now we don't have any warnings here we don't have any information here we only have the error so it's only displaying the error here so that's it now if you want to clear it you can even go ahead and clear this one like so